Welcome to Terribly Accurate and to the month of March. In this video, we are going to look at the overall vibe for the month. Will you find your pot of gold? Are you gonna get lucky in love? Where do you need to push your luck to get ahead? What rain will be hitting your life? What will the rainbow after be? And then if you stick around all the way to the end of the video, you will find out what is your crystal of the month and what is it good for? How's it gonna help you? As well as figuring out how you can get a free reading from me. This video is for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, but not Venus. Unless you are spying on somebody else's um, love forecast, for example, then it's for their Venus. But this video right here is gonna show you how to get the most out of these videos that I make or that anybody else makes for taroscopes, horoscopes, whatever, or even ones that you would read online. And one more thing, there are links below to connect you to the taroscopes that I've been making online for all zodiac signs. And now let's get started. Scorpio. Your overall vibe for the month is confusion. What is the most important thing? And that's the hardest thing, right? Because there's many things that are important, but where do I apply the greatest amount of focus? Um, what they're saying is maybe applying it to what you care about the least, just to knock it out, because otherwise it's gonna be one of those things that you continue to kick the can down the road and never get to, to be honest. So, will you find your pot of gold this month? And they're like, um, you know, this is, if you own your own business, for example, this is a really excellent month to reach out to former clients, like way back, right? So you might say, hey, it's been a long time since I've heard from you, I hope you're doing well, here's my new product. Even if um, you don't own your own business or whatever, they're like, think backwards to that place in time when you were feeling really comfortable, okay? and then bring more of that energy back. Like what were you feeling on a day-to-day -day basis? Maybe in your current job, you're like, oh, I used to really love doing this and now I'm not into it so much. Like you're just worn out, you're tired, you know? You're burned out. Um, think about what made you really love it when you first got into it. Maybe when you were in school or when you first started your career because that will help fix your, it's not that anything in your financial um, sphere is broken, but that will help make things better for you, okay? Um, will you get lucky in love if you are single? And what they're saying here is that if you want to, <laughs> it's one of these things where it's like, you know, if you're hopeful, if you're open to it, if you're excited about it, if you believe it, hell yeah. Like anything is possible here, including a lifelong partner, that true soulmate, that forever person that you deeply emotionally bond and connect with. Now, some of you don't think that's true because maybe you already had it and it didn't work out. Or maybe you've never been able, as a deeply emotional Scorpio, been able to connect with somebody that's as deeply emotional as you. However, I am here to tell you, totally, totally possible this month, okay? Now, for those of you who are in relationships, they're saying maybe not your luckiest month, but try to see it a different way. This is an opportunity to heal your relationship with some good sex. Um, anything that doesn't feel like it's working out, even if it's outside of the relationship, even if your partner's um, job situation or finances are stressing them out, um, try to fix it with sex. Good D will fix this situation, okay? whether you're given or receiving. Now, for those of you that are in complicated situations, it's on again, off again, or maybe it's not Facebook official, you're just talking to each other. What they're saying is, mm, if you're not super excited about it, then it's probably not what you want, and then it's time to just be like, eh, fuck it. If you're super excited about it, though, they're like, you know, the fact that it's not really dramatic is super good, but they're like, you know, it's right here in front of you, you're super focused on it, and then they're saying, but what are what is it that you're choosing not to see about this situation? Is the other party not totally over something from the past? Um, is that why you're having to sit around and wait and hope that this grows into something else? Is that the case? Really think about that for a second. Think about what you're not thinking about so that you can think about it and then make an informed decision. Because those that are not in complicated situations that they're actually single have really good potential this month. And I guess if it were me, I would rather be that, right? Okay, so where in life do you need to push your luck? So like, 
what is it that you want to manifest and how do we help co-create that? And they're just like that really positive, anything is possible, childlike, like I believe that anything is possible vibe is totally going to work for you. So the next thing that they say is you're happily ever after totally totally possible think about what makes you happy at the end of the day what is it that you truly want including with other people in relationships because you can have it what you're refusing to see is that there is actually an action step that you have to take a little bit of an investment that you have to make and so what is that what they're saying is you have to look at the pain that you've experienced and then determine, like, have I done the emotional healing and the work to heal this? That is hard. And I don't know if you see that there was a little angel orb at the very top of the video. So this is important for somebody. They're like, because that's self-care. You know, we always talk about, like, we have to fully love ourselves before we're ready for somebody else. Um, that's how you do it. Working on yourself, on your own emotional bullshit, puts you in the right position, in the right space to be ready for the right person to come through for you. And so if you've been doing it, hell yeah, that happily ever after, it's coming for you, okay? In whatever it is, whether you're trying to manifest more money, whether you're trying to manifest like your dream career, your dream car, like it's a dream vacation, it doesn't actually matter. They're like, think about your past and what bummed you out, what disappointed you, and then how did you work through that? And are you still determined to work through that? Are you still working on healing the parts of yourself that you need to? Are you still putting in the effort that is required to get what you want? Because that's how you show yourself love, by being committed and dedicated to what you say it is that you desire, what it is that you say you want. Because, I mean, magic and, and the universe and all that stuff is a part of you getting what you want. Like, they, they might, like, put an opportunity in front of you, but it's up to you to take it, okay? Now, what are the things we need to be warned about? Like, what is the rain that could potentially hit us this month? And they're just saying you might feel um, a little unstable in your home. So they're like but your intu intuition will tell you about that will warn you about that um so it might be like you feel uncomfortable when somebody knocks on the door and then you just like don't answer it it could be something simple like that it might be that you get like a little bit nervous like oh man i feel like my washing machine is on the fritz like you're gonna know in advance and therefore you could call somebody out to take a look at it before something bad happens um i'm not too worried about it it just seems to be like home related but you'll get the insight in advance and they're like hey but you can fix it anything's possible you keep getting these like really really positive vibes so so far i have done you are the sixth um zodiac number that i have done for the month of march and so far um you have the best vibes you have the best juju the most luck because for some of these other signs it just isn't like the luckiest month so awesome um okay so what is the rainbow afterwards? It like it shows up faster than you than you think, kind of like boom overnight. And it's not necessarily that something that you were hoping for or wishing for. Um, and so you might be like, ooh, I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know if I really want it. But it's like whatever happens next, it's per destiny, it's per God, it's per spirit guides, it's per the universe or whatever. And it's for the highest good. And anything that happens that kind of disturbs your peace is just in order to kind of bring you back to that spiritual relationship, no matter how you practice it, whether you walk around barefoot outside in nature or you pray or you do yoga or meditation like you read tarot cards it doesn't even matter whatever works for you whatever happens it's kind of like to remind you to get back on that spiritual track which therefore brings more and more blessings so yay okay so now we are going to shift gears and look at your um crystal of the month what is your power crystal citrine Citrine is associated with the solar plexus chakra, the yellow one, right where your stomach is. Citrine crystals are safe to run under cold water, to soak in salt water, to cleanse or clear with incense, as well as to recharge in the sunlight or moonlight. The angels associated with citrine are Archangel Gabriel, Ariel, as well as Uriel. Citrine comes in various forms. You might see it raw, you might see it polished, and you might see it in a cluster formation. Some citrines are actually amethysts that are heat treated by humans. However, this doesn't seem for most people to have an effect as far as the usefulness 
of the stone in any crystal grid or healing properties that it does have. So some people are crystal snobs and that's not a judgment whether you are or you are not. However, the lighter colored citrines are often the ones that are not heat treated and are more natural than the darker colored ones. The uses of citrine are often associated with anxiety reduction because they help to increase our self-esteem and express individuality. Citrine is also well known for attracting wealth, prosperity, and abundance. Whether it actually attracts wealth, prosperity, and abundance like a pyrite would, or whether it's just shifting your own mindset and your ability to attract that wealth doesn't really matter, it works either way. Citrine helps to protect against negative thinking and it provides protection for us in general. Citrine is used to support sensitive and vulnerable people. It increases joy and it stimulates the desire for change and new experiences. Citrine is excellent for soothing family troubles or group disagreements, and it serves as an antidepressant. Citrine inspires more extroversion. Citrine helps to purify the aura and it takes all of the dark, empty spaces and it fills them up with light. That might also be why it helps to attract more wealth, prosperity, and abundance. Citrine stimulates the brain and it reinforces the intellectual gifts that you already have. It increases your ability to problem solve as well. Citrine is excellent to increase your levels of creativity and to inspire new ideas. Citrine generally stimulates your digestion and it supports your digestive organs and it relieves bladder infections as well. It reinforces your nerve tissues, making them a little bit stronger, and it can actually help to dissolve cellulite. Therefore, citrine is an excellent stone to just set on your booty while you're laying down reading a book. It might be something that you wanna put underneath your mattress where your trouble zones are. Citrine will help to relieve constipation and it creates physical warmth within the body as well. So overall, citrine is an excellent stone to sort of reduce our belly fat in ways that we haven't thought of previously. It's not really well known as a weight loss stone, but because it will relieve constipation and therefore make your abdomen look smaller and dissolve your cellulite, heck yeah, let's use this in order to get the body that we truly desire.